Is web development dead? I've been reading a lot of comments from people on my channel and on some other people's channels and some people are genuinely concerned about web development being a dead industry. Some are defeatist and are looking for a reason not to do anything with, our, with their lives and we, we know those people, right? But I also felt a bit of fear. I'm a human and the way humans are conditioned is to react to fear more than to opportunity. And your brain is kind of wired to run away from the bear more than to explore the jungle to find the berries filled with sugar. So with that out of the way, let me tell you what I found in my research. First of all, people have been asking this exact question since 2016. So this is not something new, but what made it more prominent now more than ever is ChatGPT and people actually being genuinely scared by AI taking over their means of living. And this ChatGPT scare is not something that happens in coding only, it's in multiple industries like, for example, copywriting. And copywriting is the art and science of, of like selling and writing, if you didn't know. And everyone who wants to be a copywriter says AI is gonna take over their source of income. Notice how I mentioned wants to. Beginners always have fears. Fear of something not working out, fear of failure, fear of embarrassing themselves. Fear, my friend, will not serve you in your life unless it's fear of being a loser. That fear will motivate you to start making strides. So then I was thinking, if access to information is democratized, why don't these people that are so concerned about AI use that AI to make hundreds of millions of dollars for themselves? Because you can literally ask ChatGPT to give you a roadmap, write all the code for your app, uh, make an ad to sell your app and so on and so forth. Why are, they, why are they not millionaires yet? Today I was listening to a trading seminar of Anton Krill from 2015 and he also mentioned that in the trading industry there is a lot of information out there for everyone to use but people have no clue how to use that information. And that my friend is because you need to be wise. You need to know what you want, why you want it and how to use it. Wisdom and experience is what gets you paid, not information. Put that on a t-shirt. Tools like ChatGPT and whatnot are only as good as the user. I can get so much more out of ChatGPT than you because I have years of experience as a developer. I built so many products for all types of companies, from Novartis to Vodafone to startups and web dev agencies. ChatGPT is 10xing me. ChatGPT is a multiplier, so if you are a zero, then you do the maths. The other articles I read about this subject of web development being dead were from people or companies just like mine that are selling this advice to beginners, are selling some sort of programs, products, etc. I skimmed, but I didn't read because it was marketing material. So with that out of the way, I will tell you my truthful opinion on the matter, take it with a pinch of salt and think if I'm right or not, okay? Think for yourself. You as a beginner in tech are very much used to what I call retail software and maybe just a tiny bit of niche software. So what is retail software? Well, apps like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Google Docs, whatever. And so because you see these apps, you believe that this is all there is out there. Your field of view of vision is very narrow and I'm not blaming you, you are just starting out. I was of the same impression years ago, but just take a moment and realize you are only seeing the tip of the tip of the tip of the tip of the iceberg. Another type of software that you are using is the one your employer gives you to use to perform your daily tasks. This is niche software. I'm not gonna get into that because I assume you know what I mean, okay? Now here's what I see from the perspective of a guy who runs a business and has dozens of subscriptions for different softwares and whatnot. I spend I think around 1000 bucks for different softwares to run my business per month. I always look for alternatives that have more features, look better, make transition from one platform to another easier, etc. And every other month I see a new competitor for each platform I'm using. That tells me people still innovate. There are still and will be problems in the market. Companies keep innovating, fixing bugs and maintaining existing software to be competitive. They need more devs, they need better devs all the freaking time. If a company stops innovating, it stops growing and it dies eventually. Same as you, if you don't learn, you die slowly on the inside. Look at your workmates that have been doing your job for the past 20 years. They are all depressed, 
quit their lives and I bet you wouldn't trade your life with theirs. Notice how I never mentioned anything about coding or programming so far in this video. Why do you think that is? Take a moment to think. That is because nobody and absolutely nobody cares about software. We only care about problems. People have problems and unsatisfied needs. And because of that, people come up with solutions. They build said solutions by themselves, if they are developers, or get investors and create a development team to build a product to solve that problem and make money in the market. This is how our society works and there will still be problems as long as the internet is a thing and as long as humans will exist on this planet. So web developers have a future and the market will expand and there will be a bigger need for more and more professionals even with the uprising force of AI which is supposed to obliterate everyone. All jobs, all skills evolve and you need to embrace this. Now, it's true that web development or front-end development is relatively easy compared with other disciplines, but it's also the one with the most options. Say you learn JavaScript. Well, now you can write browser apps, native apps, iOS and Android apps. So you have the option to diversify your skill set if you have a good foundation in programming and JavaScript in general. The truth is that even though becoming a web developer is easier compared with other industries, it's not as easy as it was in 2015, right? When knowing a bit of React in jQuery made you like a front-end developer and a relatively high paid one. That type of skill is highly commoditized and expected. So what I'm always promoting? I'm always promoting to get really good at your fundamentals so you have the ability to switch branches to add more skills to your base stack and become more valuable. If you see everyone following the same route as you, aka YouTube videos and Udemy tutorials, you have to do the exact opposite. You can't stand out if you do the exact same thing as the herd. And yes, you might see a success story from time to time, but those people were outliers. The vast majority sucks ass. So how can you be different? Well, if you want to be a front-end developer or full-stack developer, you need to be able to build products, not just calculators to do apps, weather apps, e-commerce websites. Then you need to make sure your app looks good. So hire a designer or buy some Tailwind templates for 100 bucks. Learn how to work in a team. Learn how to solve real-world problems. Because if you mess around and solve basic-ass problems, the people who will interview you won't have the confidence that you'll be able to deliver and make them money because it all comes down to money at the end of the day and you need to take the red pill and understand that the tech industry is not this pink fuzzy warm bubble of joy that is accepting of everyone not at all so position yourself as a savage bring a lot of value to the table and you'll be more than wanted people will desperately go out of their way to pay you to help them build their companies. And with that out of the way, if you like this video and want to become a remote developer in the fastest way humanly possible, apply for my mentorship. Link is in the description. I don't care if you click that link or not. It's up to you. I'll see you next time. Peace.